I'm sorry, I got into an accident. I don't think I can make it to Ellie's wedding. Could you please give my regards to Ellie? When my husband, who was on his way to the wedding, said this to me over the phone, I happily responded like this. That's great. I didn't want you to come anyway. My name is Claire. I am a 50-year-old housewife. This year marks the 25th anniversary of my marriage to my husband, Jaden. We've been through a lot, but somehow I'm amazed that we've been able to stay married for 25 years. It makes me feel sentimental. However, I never expected something like this to happen in the year of our 25th anniversary. Mom, it's been a while. Oh, Ellie, it's so good to see you. Yes, I brought your favorite cookies, Mom. Wow, thank you. I'll make some tea right away. The person speaking now is Ellie, my daughter. Ellie is currently 25 years old. In fact, my husband and I had what is known as a shotgun wedding, and Ellie was born in the same year as our marriage. She graduated from university and has been working at a company for three years. She now lives on her own and seems to be working hard as a professional. I used to feel lonely when my only daughter became independent, but I'm happy because she comes back regularly like this. How are things going with work? Yeah, I'm doing my best. And what about your regular meals? Are you eating nutritious food? I'm fine, Mom. I've been really into cooking lately. I even take cooking classes. As she said that, my daughter showed me pictures of the dishes she made. Wow, that's amazing. You have proper side dishes and the soup looks delicious, too. <laughs> I wonder if I can become a good wife. You'll definitely become one if you can make all this. As I said that, my daughter blushed. Wait, could it be... Yes, actually, I'm getting married. Really? Congratulations! I was surprised by the sudden news of her marriage, but I was incredibly happy. Is it the person you've been dating from work? Yes, he recently proposed to me. I see, that's wonderful! My daughter had a look of happiness on her face. Seeing her like that made me happy too. So I'll finally get to meet your boyfriend, huh? Yeah, he seems nervous about coming over to introduce himself. Oh, really? He seems nervous about meeting Dad. Oh, but there's nothing to be scared of. That's true. I'm saying that, but I guess it's natural for guys to feel nervous about meeting their partner's father. I see. That makes sense. My daughter and I were laughing while having that conversation. My husband doesn't have a tough appearance, and he's not particularly imposing, as he's often outmatched by me and our daughter in arguments. However, he has always worked hard, and thanks to that, I've been able to be a full-time housewife even now. I'm grateful to him for that. He's generally a kind person, so there's nothing to be afraid of. When my husband came home from work, my daughter also shared the news of her marriage with him. What? Ellie's getting married? Yeah, I'll introduce my fiancé next time. Uh, I see. It feels a bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> Even you're saying that, huh? Huh? Ellie's fiancé is also nervous, you know. Uh, I see. Well, from a guy's perspective, meeting the partner's father is nerve-wracking. Upon hearing my husband's words, my daughter and I couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Birds of a feather! Both of you might get along well! My daughter said that while we were having dinner together. About a week later, on a day off, my daughter brought her fiancé over. Nice to meet you. I'm Leo. Nice to meet you. I'm Ellie's mother, and this is her father. The fiancé my daughter brought was a very refreshing person. Leo was my senior and my mentor at work. He's really capable and reliable. He always helped me with my mistakes. Oh, no. Ellie hardly made any mistakes. She always supported me in my work. She learns quickly, and I respect her for that. When I was in my third year, I couldn't handle the job as well as she does now. Leo's words praising my daughter made me very happy. My daughter blushed with embarrassment at the compliments. My husband seemed to think that Leo was a trustworthy person and felt relieved. Please, take care of Ellie. My husband bowed his head as he said that, and I followed suit. The introduction and discussion about the marriage proceeded in a friendly atmosphere. We even ordered pizza delivery midway and started a fun party with drinks. Leo seemed to have a strong tolerance for alcohol and enjoyed whiskey. Since I also liked whiskey, I enjoyed drinking until the end. 
Since my daughter and husband are not good with alcohol, they stop drinking at a suitable point, and Ellie, who is slightly taken aback by seeing me and Leo continue drinking, makes various snacks for me, knowing that I enjoy alcohol. I think it's wonderful that she has such a lovely domestic side. Hey, hey, Leo, are you getting drunk? You don't have to praise me that much, you know. My daughter's face turned red, not from the alcohol, but from embarrassment. I was convinced that with someone like him, my daughter would definitely be happy. Afterwards, my daughter met Leo's parents, and it turned out that they were also wonderful people. Hearing about it put my mind at ease. During the meeting of our families, my husband and I also met Leo's parents, and they were truly kind and had lovely smiles. Seeing them, I understood that if these people were his parents, it was no wonder what a wonderful and accomplished man like Leo had grown up. I was surprised when Ellie said she was getting married, but as things progress like this, it really hits me that it's true. Yeah, that's true. And to think she's getting married this year, it somehow feels nostalgic, doesn't it? Huh? What do you mean? Huh? I wonder if the meaning of what I said was difficult to convey. Since my husband asked me in that way, I was a bit confused. No, I thought it was a significant timing. About us. I wanted my husband to come up with the answer himself as much as possible, so I didn't say it clearly, but it seemed he hadn't noticed until now. Uh, about us? Oh, could it be that you forgot? Sorry, what are you talking about? This year, we're celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary. The silver wedding anniversary. My husband finally seemed to realize at this point. I was a bit shocked that he had completely forgotten. Was I the only one who remembered and felt happy about it? It made me a bit lonely to sense a difference in enthusiasm between my husband and me. Sorry, sorry. Was it our silver wedding anniversary this year? Ellie's wedding is so joyous that it, it slipped my mind. While my husband was trying to brush it off, the news of our daughter getting married was recent. It's been over six months since the year started, and our anniversary is just two months away. Normally, one would remember it's the silver wedding anniversary. I felt a sense of unease and confusion, but still. What should we do this year? I asked my husband. He responded, Hmm, what do we do for a silver wedding anniversary? He asked me back. Considering he had forgotten, it would be appropriate for him to research and come up with suggestions himself out of apology. Maybe prepare a celebratory gift or go to a slightly expensive restaurant? I'm not sure, though. When I said that with a hint of coldness, my husband replied, I see. Let's do that, then. Wait, are you deciding so easily? Well, isn't that the classic or standard choice? It's more enjoyable to go for something safe rather than risk a failure. Well, that might be true, but... I understood what my husband was saying, but I felt like he wanted to get this event and this conversation over with as soon as possible, which made me even more bewildered. I was a bit upset, so I thought about discussing it with our daughter, but I held back because it wouldn't be right to talk about my dissatisfaction with our married life during this joyful period of preparing for her own wedding. After that, I started to look at my husband with a slightly suspicious eye. I had been completely off guard, or rather, I hadn't paid much attention. But when I realized that my husband doesn't seem to cherish our married life, I couldn't help but wonder if his focus has shifted somewhere else. And gradually, various suspicious thoughts started to arise. Firstly, let's talk about a smartphone. My husband is a true analog person, and he used to leave his phone unlocked for the sake of simplicity and ease of use. Now, he has added fingerprint authentication to his phone. Moreover, while he used to leave it lying around on the dining table or various places, recently, he doesn't even let it out of his sight, not even when he goes to the restroom. Is he cheating on you? Huh? Cheating? Feeling overwhelmed with confusion, I invited my longtime friend Kinsley to lunch and poured out my thoughts to her. That's when Kinsley made that statement. But we've been married for 25 years already. There was a part of me that didn't want to believe it. However, Kinsley cut straight to the point and said, You're being naive. If you let your guard down like that, you can easily be discarded in no time. Um... If you suspect something, immediately hire a private investigator to look into it. If he's having an affair, you can divorce him on the grounds of the other party's fault and even receive compensation for emotional distress. You have to be proactive about this. I... I see. 
Kinsley is originally divorced due to her ex-husband's affair, so every word she says carries credibility. Well, the difference between her and me is that she runs her own company and is actively working. However, I still thought it might be a good idea to try hiring a private investigator. I felt that if I didn't do it, I would just continue to feel unsettled, which was not good for my mental well-being. However, I immediately regretted having the investigation done. It turned out that my suspicions were correct, and my husband was indeed having an affair. The person he was involved with seems to be a subordinate who works in the same company. The age of the affair partner is 30, which is closer to my daughter's age than mine. I was deeply shocked to learn about my husband's affair. And the fact that he was involved with a woman 20 years younger than me made me feel disgusted. My feelings of love for my husband quickly faded away. I don't want to celebrate our silver wedding anniversary in such a state. How about instead of forcefully celebrating our silver wedding anniversary, we use that money to increase the wedding gift for Ellie's wedding? I proposed that to my husband, and he instantly lit up with excitement. Wow, that's a great idea. Let's do that, he said. I felt angry when I sensed that my husband found our 25th wedding anniversary celebration troublesome based on his attitude. However, I held myself back from expressing it because I also realized that my husband was having an affair. I thought that immediately getting a divorce would be unfair to our daughter and would put her in a difficult position. It would be sad if, with the wedding approaching, it became known that her parents were getting divorced due to an affair. In such a situation, it would be difficult to decide whether to invite both parents to the wedding. That's why I decided to keep it hidden for a while that I know about my husband's affair. I plan to wait until after our daughter's wedding is over to pursue a divorce. Until then, I have to endure and continue living with my husband, so it has been quite painful. But it's for the sake of our daughter, so I have no choice. I've decided to start working on considering the time after the divorce. Hey, then why don't you work at my place? Is that okay? I haven't worked for 25 years. But you used to work in an administrative position, and you have qualifications, right? Well, yes, but... Don't worry, Claire. You've always been skilled and capable of anything. So you'll quickly adapt to working at my place. With Kinsley's encouragement, I decided to start working. It was a great feeling to be back in the workplace after such a long time. Until now, my only interaction with society was through my mom and friends as a stay-at-home mom. But once my daughter became an adult, even that connection diminished. So being able to communicate with different people like this was enjoyable. It seemed like my husband had completely lost interest in me, so he didn't oppose when I mentioned going back to work. Creating an environment where I could talk to people other than my husband was really beneficial. And as I resumed work, I gradually rediscovered the joy of it. Come to think of it, even before getting married, I used to find work enjoyable. Kinsley smiled as she watched me come alive and do my job. Mom, you have such a strong and determined look on your face. Oh, really? Yeah, starting work really gives you that professional look. Well, maybe it does. Anyway, the wedding is coming up soon. Yes, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to seeing you in your bridal attire, too. I tried to divert the conversation and cover up any signs of my impending divorce from my daughter. It seemed like she hadn't noticed anything, but amidst all that, something unbelievable happened. Huh? A business trip? Uh, yeah. This week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Sunday is Ellie's wedding day, you know. I'll make sure to be back in time for the wedding. Why'd you schedule a business trip at such a timing? It's an order from the company. There's nothing I can do about it. To my surprise, despite our daughter's upcoming wedding, my husband scheduled a business trip. But deep down, I knew it wasn't really a business trip. He was probably planning to go on a trip with his affair partner. I felt an overwhelming anger towards my husband. I wish he would at least consider ensuring the smooth progress of our daughter's wedding. I couldn't forgive him for prioritizing himself and his affair partner like that. Furious, I took advantage of my husband's deep sleep to discreetly use his thumb to unlock his smartphone with fingerprint recognition. I wanted to confirm his communication with the affair partner. And as I expected, I discovered that my husband and his affair partner were planning an illicit trip together. I discreetly took photos of their messages on my own smartphone and quietly closed my husband's phone. Well, I'm off. I'll make sure to be back in time for the wedding. With those words, my husband left early in the morning. 
felt a lot of frustration, but I decided to start packing my belongings so that I could leave as soon as my daughter's wedding was over. I had already signed a new lease for a new apartment, preparing for a quick move. If my husband was going to be away from home, I should have time my move earlier. But I decided to switch gears and focus on my daughter's wedding. And then, on the day of the wedding, as soon as I saw my daughter in her wedding dress in the waiting room, thoughts of my husband completely vanished from my mind. Ellie, you look absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Mom. I was deeply moved by my daughter's stunning appearance. Soon, the attendees started gathering at the wedding venue. Just before the wedding was about to begin, my phone rang. It was my husband calling. I lowered my face and pressed the answer button. Hello? Where are you? The wedding is about to start. Then my husband made a surprising statement. I'm sorry. I just got into an accident. I don't think I'll be able to make it to Ellie's wedding. Huh? An accident? Are you okay? I didn't care about my husband, but hearing about an accident still made me worry. Oh, I'm fine. It was a minor collision and no one got hurt. I see. That's good to hear. But my car is damaged. I have to go through various procedures and police questioning, so I don't think I can make it to the wedding in time. Could you please give my regards to Ellie? Receiving the call from my husband, who was on his way to the wedding, I happily responded, That's great. I didn't want you to come anyway. Huh? Because you weren't actually on a work trip, were you? You were going on an affair trip, right? I wonder if your trip with your 30-year-old subordinate, Bella, was enjoyable. Uh, why do you know all of that? I know about your affair and where you were really going today. I was planning to keep quiet until Ellie's wedding was over, but if you can't make it, it works out well for me. Please don't come to the wedding. We can discuss the divorce proceedings through a lawyer at a later date. Th this is... My husband was absolutely mortified to learn that I knew everything. Well, the wedding is about to start, so I'll hang up now. I said that and hung up the phone. When relatives and our daughter asked why my husband wasn't there, I explained that he had been delayed due to an accident while on his way from the business trip. I decided to tell our daughter the truth after the wedding. She seemed a little sad, but she accepted the situation and adjusted her feelings. During the wedding, I explained to the guests that my husband couldn't attend. Leo's family understood the circumstances, which was a relief. And the wedding began successfully, and I enjoyed the wedding ceremony and reception. My daughter looked stunning, and it was an incredibly beautiful ceremony. When I read the letter of gratitude from my daughter to me, I couldn't help but cry. And the wedding ceremony of my daughter ended successfully. Then, in the dressing room, my daughter said to me, Mom, you've been silently enduring all this time, haven't you? Even though it must have been hard for you. Huh? I knew about Dad's affair, too. What? Is that true? Yeah. Just recently, when I went to visit your home, I found the investigation results from a private detective in the drawer. I see. I can't forgive Dad either. Today wasn't really a business trip for him, right? I told my daughter everything. She was very disappointed and said that deciding on a divorce was the right choice. She also informed the relatives and Leo's family who were in the waiting room about my husband's affair. She mentioned that I had endured and kept silent to prevent the wedding from being ruined. Everyone sympathized with me and offered words of comfort. They all expressed their contempt towards my husband and vowed not to have any further involvement with him. Afterwards, I discussed the divorce with my husband and our respective lawyers. Feeling betrayed after supporting the family as a homemaker for many years, I demanded a high amount of $80,000 in compensation from my husband. I also demanded $30,000 from his affair partner. My husband was furious at the high amount, but when I said I was willing to go to court to fight for it, he reluctantly agreed, expressing concerns about the legal proceedings. However, I still couldn't forgive my ex-husband, so I reported the affair to his workplace. As a result, his reputation plummeted. It seems that his involvement with a subordinate who was 20 years younger became a significant issue, and he ended up being demoted. It seems like he's facing a lot of coldness and judgment from those around him. He's working hard to make the settlement payments, but it's clear that he feels uneasy about it. In addition, as a result of this incident, he has been abandoned by all his relatives and even received a declaration of estrangement from our daughter. He appears to be utterly alone and lonely. It's all his own doing, and I can't help but think it serves him right. On the other hand, I have started living on my own and have thrown myself into work. 
I have become completely devoted to my job, and I have been entrusted with various responsibilities at the company, becoming a reliable presence. My daughter seems to be enjoying a happy newlywed life with her husband, and she occasionally visits my place to spend time together. I plan to continue working hard and warmly supporting my daughter as I move forward. It's scummy to prioritize an adulterous trip of your daughter's wedding. Well, to begin with, engaging in an affair is already despicable. Claire and Ellie, it's probably for the best that they ended ties with such a despicable man. In the end, it was a good thing that he didn't come to the wedding. From now on, I hope both of you can live happily as mother and daughter, cherishing your bond and enjoying each day. Thank you for watching until the end. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.